Hi, welcome to Professional English Baku. I'm Steve and today we're going to be talking about something that I find to be myself quite annoying as a reader and as a listener, pronouns. How to effectively use pronouns. Uh, there's a lot of use when it comes to pronouns, particularly, particularly in writing, but also in spoken language, in conversation, uh, in, whenever someone says something to the effect of uh, me and my friends, we went to the beach and we met another couple of friends and we left. Okay, now, now I'm really confused. There's way too many pronouns in that sentence. Whenever you say, we left, does that mean you and these friends that you met at the beach all left together or just the original group of friends? Did you all leave? It, it's very confusing. So, and that's just one example. So whenever people are using pronouns, a good rule of thumb to remember is, is that the pronoun has to be very specific to the noun that the pronoun is replacing. So let me go ahead and open up and I'll reduce me right there a little bit more and we're going to be talking about pronouns. Personal pronouns are one form of pronouns. Personal pronouns are in reference to humans. So I, me, she, her, he, him, they, them, we, us, you, you all. Uh, so those are the personal pronouns and pronouns are specifically used to replace nouns and proper nouns so that sentences are not repetitive. What I mean is it would sound very funny to say Steve went to work and Steve got to his office and Steve, you get the idea, to keep repeating a noun is very burdensome for speaking and it's very, very burdensome to listen to. So a pronoun is simply a word used to replace a proper noun or a noun. For example, Gulnara went to the market and Gulnara bought some eggs. Technically, it's a correct sentence, but to say it and to hear it, it, it just it gets to be confusing to keep hearing a, a proper name over and over again. So what we do is we say Gulnara went to the market and she bought some eggs. So you'll see in this sentence the pronoun she is used to indicate Gulnara, just making the sentence flow better. So we get to the general rule for pronoun use. And this is a rule for using pronouns that can carry across just about any literary device, whether you're speaking, reading, writing, the rule for pronoun use is always going to be very similar. And that rule is use a pronoun only after you have used the noun. And preferably in the same sentence. It gets to be challenging to keep track of nouns and pronouns for the reader or for the listener whenever it's starting to span across several different sentences. If you're using short sentences, uh, Steve went to the market, he bought some eggs. Two different sentences and very short. Basically you could use, you can make one sentence out of them even. So in that instance, you can use it in different sentences, but to be really correct, you should just go ahead and combine the two sentences and make them into one. Uh, the wrong way would be to say, Elnor went to the beach with Cameron. He really enjoyed his day at the beach. Who is he? Did Cameron really enjoy his day at the beach? Did Elnor 
really enjoy his day at the beach. So whenever you're using a pronoun, that pronoun needs to be very specific to which noun it is attached to. Because what you're doing is using it to replace one. And it is wrong because there are two males, and the pronoun he can apply to either Cameron or it can apply to Elmer. So as a reader or as a listener, it's very confusing to who enjoy their day. Now, very likely they both enjoy their day at the beach, but in the context of this text, it, does, it isn't really clear. Or you could even say, Elnor went to the beach with Cameron. Elnor really enjoyed his day at the beach. So in this version, what you're doing is repeating the noun so that it goes into the same sentence with enjoyed his. Elnor really enjoyed his day at the beach. And the prior sentence is saying that Elnor went to the beach with Cameron. And then it's saying that he really, that Elnor enjoyed his day at the beach. Now as a writer, you can either use the same text or you can replace the pronoun with the noun. Or you can write the sentence so that the pronoun is very obviously identifying a single person. So you have choices here. If you have too many pronouns going on in your, your writing, your speaking, start trying to drop how much you use a pronoun. You know, Elnor went to the beach with Cameron. Elnor really enjoyed his day at the beach. That is replacing one of the pronouns and replacing it with another later in the sentence. So now that was the general rule. That's just a very broad general rule for pronouns. To use the noun before you use a pronoun. Now for professional writing, you should avoid the use of pronouns in any writing, except for character dialogue. By character dialogue, I mean if you're going to put quotation marks and the character in your writing is saying something, then you can use pronouns because that's how people talk. So of course you're going to use that. Uh, for example, Gunara went to the market and she bought some eggs. But in professional writing, not in character dialogue, you're going to say or write, Gulnara bought eggs at the market. You can see that between these two sentences, Gulnara went to the market and she bought some eggs, with a better replacement being Gulnara bought eggs at the market. Unless Gulnara actually traveling to the market is an important portion of the, the, the story, you don't need to enter. The, the, the reader, the listener is going to understand that if you were already talking about Gulnara, which very likely you're not just going to come out and say, Gulnara bought eggs at the market. No, you're probably already having a conversation and you would say, so it would already be established where Gulnara was and so it would be understood that Gulnara had to go to the market. So Gulnara indeed went to the market but you don't have to say that. So to make it much more effective, you just say, Gulnara bought eggs at the market. It shortens it down and it gets rid of the pronoun. Quite often when you're, when you're writing and speaking, if you focus on speaking and writing without using pronouns, you will find that your message becomes much shorter and much clearer to the listener or to the reader. Now moving on into technical and legal writing. If you have a job where you have to do technical writing or you have to do legal writing, you never want to use pronouns. Always use the noun. And the reason for that is technical writing, you could be writing about biology, you could be writing about chemistry, and you could have anywhere from say 
three to a hundred different components of this technical writing that you're doing. And whenever you start using pronouns, then it gets very confusing because you have so many proper nouns. So the best thing to do when it comes to pronouns and technical writing, don't use them. Just write out the noun. If you're talking about oxygen, write oxygen. Particularly whenever you get into science, it gets very difficult to start using any kind of pronouns because you say, well, the oxygen binds with the hydrogen. And it, what is it? Oxygen or hydrogen? Or is it the, the bond molecule, both of them? So it gets very confusing in technical writing. So generally, specifically in technical writing, you're not going to use pronouns. Legal writing. The problem with using pronouns in legal writing is, is you, you want to be very clear in legal writing because you see, uh, party A is selling to party B and they both agree that they, for the parties, it's, it's not clearly understood in legal terms. They could mean completely some third party that hasn't been mentioned yet. So it would say party A and party B. Anytime reference to either one of them comes up, you would just use party A or party B. Or if you've already established that both parties together shall be referred to as the parties, then you would say the parties. Technical and legal writing never ever use pronouns. Unless one caveat to this, unless you are quoting someone as to what they said, and in the quotation, they did use pronouns. Only then, in technical and legal writing, would you use a pronoun if you're quoting someone for what they actually said. Now for everyday writing and speaking. Always use a pronoun after the use of the noun. The noun that comes before the pronoun is called an antecedent. That's the official term. So you would always use an antecedent with a pronoun. And this is a goal that everyone should achieve when they want to speak more clearly. When you want to write more clearly, Always use a pronoun after the use of the noun. So you would say, Steve went to the market and he bought some vegetables. He, being the pronoun, comes after Steve. So that it, the pronouns is a very, it, it can lead to a lot of confusion for your listener or for uh, your, your, whoever's reading your writing. So it, gets, it can get to be very confusing. So I would challenge everybody, if you really want to get better with your speaking, with your writing, try to do it using as little, as few pronouns as you possibly can. You will find that your writing and your speaking improves so much and becomes a lot more understandable for your audience by using fewer pronouns. So, that's it for today. Uh, just some general information. I didn't want to leave with a challenge example. So what I would like for you to do is read this and leave a comment as to what you think the answer is. So the challenge example is, after enjoying his day at the beach, Elnor went home. So is this example following the rule of using a pronoun only after using the noun? Let me know in the comments, and if you like these videos, please subscribe, hit that like button, and thank you very much. I'll see you next time.